Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, I've CD CD'd into the notebooks of IPython 3, and well, IPython 3, I'm running it. And you'll see in the background, I've got it started. I started the running code demonstration. Uh, one of the things that you should really keep in mind with uh, running code is that it's very cool, especially for, for teachers. Uh, so let's give you a demonstration. For example, I'm going to change this document in the browser in real time. And I will do that by saying A equals 45 divided by 3. And shift enter to enter it. Now that number there is changed. Now when I go down, the cursor is already jumped down here. You can see it's blinking. Now if I hit the shift enter, my answer should change now as well, which it does. This is all happening in the browser. So that's pretty darn cool. Now, um, for the help, which is something you should really spend a little bit of time uh, is studying the keyboard shortcuts. Let me try something here. Yeah, it's going to work. So keyboard shortcuts are pretty cool. And I would highly recommend you study um, you study this part here. Because actually, all of the commands are brought up by the control M. So control M is the way to uh, activate your options. Now, to get out of this, we go back to the original page and you can see the original page actually has changed so this this drawing tool I'm using um, doesn't remember because I didn't save the changes so we'll go ahead and uh, do a different one because that's the coolness of it so a divided by uh, 10 divided by 3 and the answer is right there so uh, curiously though, it seems to think that I'm using these from before, which is fine. I just close this, leave this page, and shouldn't be a problem. Theoretically, there is a way to call up um, the usage of number four and five, but I don't recall how to do that. That's a really, really, really short demonstration of how to run code in the Python notebook. Um, I will be giving more, try to give more descriptions as I wake, work my way through learning Python and IPython. I think IPython notebook has incredible power for teachers and learning, teachers and learners. Just needs um, there just needs to be more IPython notebooks specifically geared towards tutorials for early learners. Thank you and happy computing.